Ho, ho, ho. And Wait, a, I'm not ready. A bottle of I'm rum. Ready. I don't care. I'm not I ready. don't care. I was vaping, dude. I don't, don't want to start a, vaping. I ha- look. I'm vaping too. See? Now we're both equally as, as bad. We're bad boys. That's right. We are bad boys. We're on the naughty list this year. Yeah, but year. we still get gifts because uh, we're rich. We're we're handsome. <laughs> Not rich. Um, Matt, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, come on. Put her there. I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, we're rich. Black Friday sale. Yeah. Um, I wasn't expecting to hit the boom. I wasn't expecting 20 million each. That's for sure. I was expecting maybe like 10, 15. I wasn't expecting $20 million each. <laughs> Net. I'm back so far in this shit, but yeah, you are leaning pretty far back. Does huh. I look comfy? You do look comfy. You look like a, like a mall Santa waiting for a little a, a young lad to come be slapped up on your lap. You doing a Fortnite dance? Yeah, I just did a little dance for. Uh, I guess the kids in for sure. Here, here's something for like a a holiday intro, maybe. Watch. Okay, Luke, zoom in. Like, so you can just see the white, just the white, Luke, when you zoom in. You got to zoom really far in. Peekaboo. Ho, ho, ho. That's it. There you go. That's the holiday bit. That's right, guys. That's the holiday bit. Welcome to Snowy Megacast 2022. (laughs) Yep. Another one. Ah, that that one hurt a little bit. (laughs) I think my, I think I hit your ring pretty spot. Oh, yeah. Well, that one just hurt my skin because I have very soft, sensitive skin. For you, it hurt because you hit my metal. Dude, I hit myself in the face earlier. I smacked Your my head. Ring. I went, I went, ah, like, because I was stupid, and I went, goom, with the, this thing hurts. I mean, let me see that sucker. I'm, 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 let me take that off. Ooh. Take it off. See if you can get it off. Can I get it off? Yeah, you just twist, uh, twist it back and forth. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <sighs> what is this? So, ooh. See, it's the, it's the, uh, the theater kid thing. It's the, uh, the, the laughing face mask and the the crying face mask you did go to art school so i can see that you uh, that was in my school's logo even though it's not thanksgiving i still think during the holiday season it's important to be thankful for for your past uh, exactly so, so i'm glad that you still carry those i love this ring it's a it's a nice little ring it's a zoom in on that luke see it's a smiling face and an angry face you know so it really shows both sides of man it's the duality of man it shows that you know they say that those who laugh the hardest those who laugh the loudest cry the hardest. That's what that shows. So, uh, what, uh, what, what, what hilarious holiday topics do we have planned for the audience today? A lot. We got a lot of holiday topics to talk about. <laughs> yep. We, got, uh, we, we uh, spent a lot of time planning this because we have to make sure that we put like a lot of effort, especially if it's like a special holiday thing uh, for you guys. So, we try to plan it uh, kind of to a T. Um, it, it may seem like we are improving and making stuff up on the spot, but that's just because it comes off. It, it is so well planned that it comes off uh, as naturally as it does. Right. We have we have a, a team of writers that do a fantastic job to write the podcast every week. Yep. Um, we have several writers from uh, the Late Show with Jimmy Fallon or Late Night with Jimmy Fallon mm-hmm. and. Um, you know, now that James Corden is ending his show as well, we have. Uh, is he not? Didn't he say, "Psych, I'm not. I'm, I'm staying. I'm sticking around." Well, we got the writers at least, and well, Trevor Noah is ending his his stint as the host of the uh, the Daily Show. So we got we got a lot of his writers, and as you know, those writers are very very skilled comedians. So okay, it's a fist away. That's right? a fist away okay. for sure. Yeah, um, but but yeah, uh, you know, everything I'm saying right now was scripted by them even the uh the fist away thing you just did and including what i'm saying right now describing it yeah and they wrote this in because they really wanted some credit hey layton sure yeah i'll take a high noon sure what what do they taste like what what is this? oh you'd love high noon would i yeah absolutely give me one hey, of those buddy thank you hey it's uh Merry Christmas. What, what flavor did you get black cherry oh are they just all black cherry those are the first two I oh okay I, hey I, the no 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 i was just I just thought it would have been cool if we each had a different. It's it, it's nothing. Christmas came early for the it Super looks Mega like Boys. A, a pair of jing, jingling bells. It does. See, look at that. It's a pair of jingling bells. Everything's holiday themed. No, no but, you didn't have to go out of your way. No, I'm fine. I mean, black this is cherry. Fine. Black cherry is the best, in my opinion. Oh. That or watermelon. Says black cherry is the best. Okay, hold well, on. I could offer you a pineapple. Mm. No. Letting you're screaming. I know that the mic won't pick you up unless you're screaming, but it's hurting my ears and it's making me uncomfortable. We we I, we, I, we, uh, we have some um, watermelon, Excedrin if you need some for watermelon. for that headache, huh? Watermelon. I feel like that's gonna be really sweet. I feel like black cherry is that perfect mix 
of sweet. Yeah. And, Black uh, cherry is a great flavor. Let's go ahead and. Have watermelon and sauna. Okay. Yeah, Layton, go get in the have sauna. Um, Are you going to get all nice and sweaty? Don't put any lotion on before getting in the sauna. Then. Oh, last time we got in the sauna together, Layton lotioned <laughs> up, and that stuff, he was, he was, you were glistening, and that was. Sliding out of my seat. You were sliding out of your seat, and every time you tried to sit on my lap, he would just slip right out. Right you slid right off every time, and it was, it was, it was funny, but it was embarrassing. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we traveled up to Big Bear uh, to film some holiday goofs and gaffs, this being one of them. Uh, Layton's here, Jim's here, Luke's here. As you can see, Matt and I are both here. Um, we did a. Fortunately, though, we are <sighs> missing uh, one of Santa's favorite little helpers. Unfortunately, yes. Um, could uh, not make it because. Um, Justin but lag. Justin but lag. Uh, Luke, can you put a picture of him up? Just yeah. so everyone remembers, they always forget who he is. Uh, Justin but lag. Well, they might forget who he is now because they're not going to have too many chances to be reminded of. <laughs> implying that he has some terminal disease. <laughs> this, was, <laughs> this was his. Uh, this was his last chance. <laughs> There's just something about like that. The, the evilness behind it. My favorite is, is when, you, when you do a real laugh. When you when you do a real laugh that's a little bit too hard and. To, you're obviously embarrassed, so you you overcompensate by doing a, a much harsher laugh. <laughs> well, I noticed how weird it sounded, so I'm, so I just make fun of myself. Uh, yeah, but uh, Justin Butlag has been diagnosed with uh, Biden's curse. Um, we were we we had this big Wait, trip planned. Biden. All yeah. What, you mean Brandon? Sorry, <laughs> Brandon's curse. <laughs> I got the giggles tonight. You know. Good. Uh, yeah, he has he has dark Brandon's curse. <laughs> dark Brandon, <laughs> and uh, he had to stay home from this trip. Unfortunately, he was very very sad. Uh, he really wanted to come. It was the night before? It was the night before. <laughs> the night before uh, Big Bear. The night before uh, Christmas videos shoot for Super Mega. He he texts us and goes, "Guys, I have COVID." But luckily, we'll fit we'll fit Justin in in another holiday video. I'm sure. It's probably. Sure. You know what's great is we could say, you know, when we're doing Let's Plays and other videos, we, we have to be very careful what we say about Justin because he's editing it. Yeah. And he's very spiteful. And if we say something bad about him, he'll cut something funny we say out On to get pod. back at us. Or, But he doesn't care no. about the podcast. Not he doesn't at care all. about So he won't watch this so we can really say whatever we want about him. Um, I don't think he actually has COVID. I never saw a positive test. I think he just chickened out. He was he was scared. He gets homesick from from home in his teddy bear, and he was scared to come. That makes sense. He gets home. He he he's comfortable. He doesn't want to travel more just after getting back. And instead of working these next few days, guess what he gets to do? Kick his feet up, play some Call of Duty or Sonic Frontiers, whatever whatever that young lad is playing. You know. I would have loved to do that. I just did a two and a half week tour, drove four thousand miles. See if Thieves season eight just started a week ago. About, but guess what? I'm I'm here working. I'm here working. I didn't bring. I I don't. I can't play Sea of Thieves. The second I got back from tour, hours. second I got back from tour, I'm back into making content. You know. I will say, speaking of uh, Sea of Thieves, um, video games. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, video I hope games. to see some of those under my tree. Uh. I, I want to make sure that I put this on everyone's radar because Matt did to me, and it is such a great little game. Yes, it's the iOS version of Papers, Please. It's so fucking. It just fun. came out, and and I honestly, it's a. I saw you playing it. It looks so. It looked so smooth, and I just had to. I had to try it for myself, and now I'm addicted, and I'm I, probably gonna be playing until the late hours of the night. I, I, this is my fifth day in a row playing it. I I think that uh, honestly, Papers, Please, it, it's a wonderful computer game. Why are we playing it? I don't know why we're playing it. It's not to practice to get good for another reason. No. Maybe to like record it, but I no. But 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 I do think that honestly, this is one of those games that I feel like was kind of like made for for mobile. Like the the mobile version of Papers Please is fantastic. It still gets me on like the the thing that tricks trips me up is highlighting the right stuff. For the, uh, for you'll, the interrogations, you, you, you'll you only just started playing it. That'll it's learning very quickly. Get, I mean, I'm, I'm I, I can go through it super quick now. Like on the iOS version, I'm I know where everything see, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I've been uh, permitting and denying lots of lots of people. Would you say you permit more than you deny, or there's a yes. equilibrium between the two? No, I, I permit more than I deny. But I do deny quite a lot of fools. Yeah, I just got um, this guy t- twice, or I think it's twice already. What's his name? Georgie. Georgie. Yeah. Love Georgie. We'll we'll be we'll be seeing Georgie again soon, maybe. Yeah, who knows? Maybe you will see uh I mean, do people really want a papers please here? I mean, like I see a few people, but like is it a is do a lot of people really want it? Because at this point, what does it matter? We still wanna play it. We still wanna get through it and have some fun ourselves. I wanna play it on the channel again because you know that was one glasses of our glasses off. The glasses are off for, for what I'm about to say. <laughs> that was our first like Big series, I believe, on the channel was Papers, Please, yeah. uh, or one of them. And um, it was, uh, you know, the, the, the youth loved it. You know, they, they couldn't get enough of it. And we, we played quite a bit of it, but we, did, we, we didn't get, like, a good, resolute ending ever. And we said we'd return to it. We'd take some time off uh, and then return. That was 2016. Now it's, it's almost 2023, and I think it is time to, to bring... Papers, Please series back, but this time do it right. And that's one of the reasons I uh, started playing it again was because, you know, I say, if we're going to do this, we're going to do it right. Are I you want be playing it on the iPad? Probably on, on iPad because it's it's much easier to do on, like, if I can actually drag screen. with my fingers than the, the cursor. And we can also get the, I'm sure there's, like, the whole lightning to HDMI thing you can get. Yeah, we can do that easy. Um, Game Grumps has uh, cables that we could borrow for that. Um, I asked Aaron recently if we could borrow some equipment and, uh, the response he gave me was, I will say, um, it was a bit, um, cold shoulder is not the right word cause he did reply, but it was, it was more of a, how did he respond Matt? It, it was, it was arrogant. It was, uh, it, it was, it was something about his jealousy that our channel has surpassed theirs and subscribers and we get more views than them and something about we can't help that well how is that our fault it, that it, we're so i'll be honest likable no i i know i know but i'll be honest i i i could tell that this wasn't aaron speaking this was somebody else uh in his ear no you know you know who i think it is and i i think i think we're both on the same page it's he's gotten a lot more vocal since you dropped your new album. I think that jealousy is riding high. You know? Aaron's not jealous. It's no. somebody else that's jealous of my new album and my um, our success. It's I don't need to name names, but I think it's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious who it is. Who else that we know of that works in music? Who we might oh, if you can to call it that close to. Man, I'm sorry. I'm be the bigger man here. Be the bigger I'll, elf. I'll be the bigger elf here, okay? You know, fun fact, fun fact, Will Ferrell hated uh, Elf. He did not think it was going to succeed. In fact, he fought uh, verbally John Favreau on many occasions on the set. Really? Yep. That's, a, that's true? Mm-hmm. For real? He tried to instigate a walkout on set as well. Will Ferrell did? Yes, During he shooting did. Elf? Yes. Why? Because he thought it was going to be a bad movie? Because of uh, creative differences between him and John Favreau, it was originally supposed to be a raunchy comedy, but they toned it back. Oh, is that why? I don't think that's why. Will Ferrell wanted his penis shown. Will Ferrell. He wanted big, full frontal. Look, Will Ferrell was a big SNL hotshot. Okay? He was just off of his George Bush days of SNL. He was in old school. <laughs> he was in uh, semi pro. Not at that time. <laughs> oh, was semi pro after was later? Oh. That's like after Anchorman and everything. Because his SNL was... Was his SNL in like the late 90s, early 2000s? Or like, probably, no, it was, it was it, it was 2000s because, remember, he played George Bush. Yes, okay. Yeah. He did a good job at it, too. Oh, he's a beautiful man. Uh, I, I'm George real Bush, with you. not Will Ferrell. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had no idea that John Favreau directed Elf. Really? No, I didn't know that. Did you know he directed Chef? I knew he directed Chef. How about Iron Man? You're fucking with me. No, he didn't. No, I see and it on your Iron face. Man too. No, he John Favreau did not do Iron Man. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. And Jungle Book. I know he did Jungle Book. And Lion King. And that, but I he did not do Iron Man. Yes, he did. Are you fucking with me right now? John Favreau did not do Iron Man. <laughs> yes, he did. The he guy did that Iron directed Man, Chef did, did not do Iron Man. Yes, he did. Fuck off. You're gaslighting me. <laughs> no, I'm not. Chef is technically about 
is process of working on Iron Man 2. Where's my phone, with dude? with Disney. Pull it up on your... I, I don't know my phone. <laughs> did you she, really not believe me? No, I don't believe you. I don't oh think God. John Favreau did Iron Man. Why not? Doesn't that seem like a very John Favreau movie? No, it does not seem like a very mean? John Favreau movie. He's a very... He's a guy. Elf? Guy. The guy that directed Elf <laughs> and Chef did Iron Man and Iron One Man 2? One and two. One... He's even in the movies. He plays the bodyguard. You're lying to me. It, if you're Bro. right, I'll chug my entire high noon. Really? Sure. And if I'm right, you got to chug yours. Scroll down and look at the director. Iron Man. 7.9 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yes! I wait, really? I can't believe you didn't know that. Hey, man, I haven't seen Iron Man in, in at least over a decade. I actually have never seen the whole thing. Uh, no, I, I've got your phone. Let me, let, me, let me look through it. I'm just looking at the cast. Jeff Bridges. What? What else did John Favreau direct? Jungle Book. Swingers. The Lion King. Couples uh, Retreat. No, he was in Couples Retreat. The movie with Vince Vaughn. Oh, Couples Retreat with Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn? <laughs> was Owen Wilson in Couples Retreat, too? I thought he was. Hmm. I know he's in Wedding Crash. I thought he was in... I, I might just be wrong. Do you, honestly, I don't know a lot about... Uh, I think Jav, John Favreau. John in Perfect Holiday or whatever the fuck that movie is with Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon. Oh, his anniversary to his spouse uh, just passed a couple days ago. They're still married. Uh, Congratulations, Julia John Favreau. Yeah, this podcast is dedicated to John Favreau. Um, he's a real one. Director of Iron Man. I did not know that. And now I feel like a goofball. And Iron Man 2. And Iron Man 2. Shane Black directed Iron Man 3. And how was it? It was all right. It was fun. I, I didn't like it the first time I watched it, and I liked it more, I think, the second time. I, I'm definitely getting over the whole Marvel kick because... Most of their shows I'm really not interested in watching. The movies that are coming out now I'm not really interested in. I, Why? <laughs> well, What's wrong with well, you? Well, Black Panther 2 was the last movie that came out, so let that paint a picture, <laughs> if you will. Because it's almost a three-hour long movie about like just like these characters that I've... I don't know. The climax has already happened in the story. Endgame. Infinity War, that shit. Infinity War and Endgame. <laughs> Ryan, you have three holes in your sock. <laughs> Yeah, what no, about it? Huh? I can see your little piggies. You got a problem with that? Get some new socks. Why you got to shame me? I'm not shaming you. I'm just saying. I'm fucking Santa at, Claus. I, what I'm saying is as a friend, get some new socks. I have a, a bunch of socks. I just like the Maybe some like this? Those are some wonderful. Uh, Dude, the, these. I wish nurses would wear those around. These came with the costume. These, these, are, the, these are the elf boots. Uh, these, these to me remind me of like. So you know how there's some people whose sole job is to clean up gore? Yeah. Like, this is like the, the type of like, things you'd put on before cleaning up like a suicide jumper. Like This is the type of, of foot garment to like, not get blood on yourself. Who put the... Like, the rest of the costume is fantastic. And I don't know why the team was like, yeah, just get some like oversized uh, trash bag uh, pieces and just fucking... I think to help out with kind of like the... The grimness, the absolute kind of uh, disparity I, one looks upon when they d go to like a suicide uh, scene, like where someone jumps off a building, there's a big splatter or something. There's a lot of mess, as you said, where you have to wear the shoes to clean it up. I think uh, it, it, maybe it would help change the tone instead of those like kind of like uh, mint colored right, suits. If, if it's they're it's more like goofy. one of those inflatable Halloween costumes where like maybe... They're riding a horse, right? Or and, and, and also, and, al and also, if any uh, onlookers happen to see them cleaning up the grim mess, they'll go, <laughs> "Yeah, exactly." They'll say, "All right, now that's really fucked up the the, they, the body, but that is it's funny for the shoes." Onlookers won't be riddled with anxiety; they'll be met with relief and and goofs and gaffs and giggles. Honestly, what they should do is is for the. The crews of people that have to clean up gore, they should dress them up in funny outfits. Silly Minions? Hats. You could have the minion crew. You could hire them. Like you, they, yes. You know how they have like topless maids? The, the minion suicide jumper cleanup <laughs> crew. It's like any time you, you have your, your, your gore needs need to be met, you know, for your cleanup. It's like, all right, well, I open up the yellow pages. Do we want the minions crew? 
Do we want the Charlie Brown crew? Yellow Pages minions. Yeah. Hey, hey, there you go. Hmm. Um, <laughs> that would be a, that's a great business idea. You know? Hmm. That is, that is a, just a job that some people have. It's like, yep, I clean up gore. Just like there's people's jobs at the EMS I could not fucking do. No. So if anyone works in that field, uh, power to you. Uh, because uh, uh, Go ahead and turn it off, okay? Go ahead and turn this podcast off because Ryan and I, I'm speaking for both of us, have no respect for you or what you do. No, I was, I was the exact opposite is what I was saying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, mis, I misread that situation. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Ryan and I have nothing but the utmost respect <laughs> for you and your the field you've chosen to enter. I'm sorry that sometimes what you do is sad, and I hope your days get better. <laughs> yeah. Ex- yeah, you know. Cry about it, I guess. Maybe you guys should try being YouTubers. I maybe, love maybe, maybe you YouTuber, guys dude. should should stop uh, riding in the back of an ambulance truck and start podcasting in front of a really hot fire that is incredibly hot, and I'm sweating underneath this elf suit. And I have cleverly it is a hot fire. placed my hands right here so you cannot see my sweaty nuts. And, Luke, if you see any sweaty nuts, you got to blur them out. Unless it's the Patreon cut. Yeah. No, no. I also did say I would chug this uh, for, I, I did a little bit, but you know Matt Watson. He can't chug a drink. No. It's, I, I did, I did the, like five. I'll do five more. Ready? The, the Shinjuku vlog. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Ha, na, 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 na. Only five minutes old. <laughs> That's the line. I know. He, a lot. Of, we've gone over this time and time Many again. Many times on the channel. You know, when, when you grow up uh, in the 2000s like we did, that song was a centerpiece to like, let's say like a, a woman walking around New York City in slow motion and a guy seeing her for the first time or like uh, a girl walking by the lockers or something in high school and the nerd's like, <gasps> so it's like that. But then like later on when you actually um, gain some perspective uh, and learn a little more about, I don't know, maybe some famous musicians and the background behind some of their songs, find out it's about his, uh, the, the birth of his infant daughter. His infant daughter. Your infant daughter. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? Only five minutes old, Walter. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, about, it's about the birth of his child. It's not a, it's, yeah, and they put, the, they put the crying. That's exactly it. That's the only thing. Like, that song is heartwarming and shit, but every time I listen to it, I'm like, I don't need to hear the baby crying in it. Isn't it's like, it's, a, it's a wonderful composition of music. <laughs> no, it's a great yes. song. Stevie Wonder killed it. That, that, that will always be a classic. But every time I listen to it, I don't need the fucking, like, one-minute breakdown. I was like, ah, Isn't ah. there a version without it where they took it out because so many people complained about it? Or was... Or, I, I see what he's doing as an artist, where he's like, this is dedicated to my infant daughter. Mm-hmm. My it, it's, infant daughter. It's to remember, like, you know, her birth and how much I love her. So he's putting real recordings in there. And, and to him, that's a that's very... you, baby. You're in the... Right. You're in my song. And that's a very poignant thing for him, right? Yeah. But to the, but but I guess on the radio station you don't want to hear the ah! <laughs> imagine like waking up to that like breakdown like on an airplane I'd feel like I'd be having a fever dream just <laughs> like it, why would it be playing on an airplane <laughs> don't tell me you shit yourself I did not shit myself but I stopped myself from shitting myself. very close <laughs> if you shit yourself in the Santa outfit. <laughs> Oh, man, if you shit yourself in the Santa outfit, that would be one for the books, especially just several episodes after you did shit your pants. I did. I slimed them. I slimed those shorts. (laughs) You you didn't shit yourself. You slimed yourself. (laughs) Yeah. There's a good snail trail in there. There was, yeah. Of a feces. Uh, And you you showed me. And mucus. I will say it's... There's a lot of mucus in there. It it was... It was was, (laughs) was mucusy. I will say it's also like the way that you showed it to me. (laughs) It was such an interesting way to do it. Because I feel like if you're showing someone your underwear with <laughs> shit in it, you're gonna just go. Check it. You did. You went from the front. You pulled it down and you did that. It doesn't make sense. Well, what do you it mean? does make sense. It's a good like. You no, get it, a does, good top it does. It does. View. It does. But the thing is, the why thing would is, I tell you, hey, dude, check my shorts, quick, and then you pull back the 
check on my I shirt? never said I was checking. <laughs> well, I'm talking about you dude, showing look at this. Me. Like you're you showing still me. have to like. Well, if you're, like you're looking at a shopping bag. <laughs> if you're showing me, or maybe a Christmas stocking. If you're showing me, Ryan, from the back, I'll see your bum bum. <laughs> and that's associated with what you just did. But if you're doing from the, the front, I don't see de- it. My, my, hole, my butthole's right here. It's not like up here. But I feel like it's a the other way around. You're choosing to show you me your see penis the and whole balls. Whole carriage. If I show you from you're, that angle, though, no, not no. you saw the slime trail. I did see the slime trail. What I'm saying is that by showing me at that angle, you're showing me not only the shit in your shorts, but your penis and balls. <laughs> and I'm not complaining. I'm just saying <laughs> no, it's an interesting. It sounds choice. like a complaint. If you it's have not to, a complaint, I go out of your way to mention it. As if the, I had to show as somebody the one outstanding nope. feature of that of that encounter that makes it different and uncomfortable. I, I just think it's interesting the way you chose to go about it. Interesting is an interesting <laughs> word to choose. <laughs> Let's go to ads. <laughs> It's not too late to get your holiday mailing and shipping under control with Stamps.com. Sign up now and you'll be printing your own postage in minutes. For more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. Get access to the USPS and UPS services you need to run your business right from your computer. No lines, no traffic, no hassle. Even save money with major discounts on USPS and UPS shipping rates, up to 86% off. You can use Stamps.com to print postage wherever you do business. All you need is a computer and a printer. And if you need a package pickup, you can easily schedule it through your Stamps.com dashboard. Rates are constantly changing. With Stamps.com's switch and save feature, you can easily compare carriers and rates so you know you're getting the best deal every time. And if you're running an online store, Stamps.com works seamlessly with all the major shopping carts and marketplaces. You know, life has gotten happier more joyful. I hear more giggles around the office as soon as we started using stamps.com a while ago. And I have to say, not only is it fun to use, it's extremely helpful for small businesses like us. And if you run a small business, like even even an Etsy shop or something, don't be afraid to give it a look. It, you know, it, it's, it's, it's nice. It's very, very convenient. This holiday season, trade late nights for silent nights and get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code SUPERMEGA for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter SUPERMEGA. Remember, yep, just enter the code SUPERMEGA at Stamps.com. Bye. Welcome back, nincompoops. (laughs) Scare me for a second. Did I really? I, if you watch the video, I went, <laughs> scare me for a second. I don't know. I don't know. I think nincompoops could be a, like a comeback. You little nincompoops. No. Too far gone. Can't do it. Am it's I a, not allowed to? No, it's a very 50s word. Nincompoop. It sounds like a slur. Nincom- you know who else was uh, around in the 50s? Our president, Joe Brandon. Shout out to Joe Brandon. Yo, shout out to Dark Brandon. Let's get a round of applause for G- 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 Dark, Dark. Shout Brandon. out to Dark Brandon. Um, <laughs> well, they're really just like, just saying the same thing from the first five minutes and cackling at it again. Yes. We, I got, we get that, dude. First, I just want to say this. And I'm tired. I'm tired of people complaining. Okay. Yeah. It's our podcast. We're going to talk about what we want. And we're going to have fun in our. I'll own talk. Way. I'll, I'll talk about dark branding as much as I want. <laughs> <laughs> we got the giggles tonight, ladies. I know. We, we've had a couple cups of eggnog, dude. It's high noon. Yeah, it is. Hey, Overwatch reference. Come on. You still, oh, that's you still right. Edit Overwatch videos. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. We so did you. Did. We edited loot box uh, stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. A lot of the times. That's right. I forgot we even did that. It's been a while. I do get the whole like. I got a few mystery blind boxes of my own randomly one day, and I went, you know what? Why not? They were just of pins, and I did like the feeling of it. I I think that would be a a perfect thing to do for your triangle people is to do little blind things. Little blind things? Yeah. Walking around with a cane? And I think you should put it down as like... Um, I, I think I should deserve a part of the cut because it was my idea. I was already planning on doing that, Ryan. <laughs> I just, how could you have planned that when I just came up with the idea live? I, I could literally Everyone show you. Everyone saw that. I could I literally show you in my notebook idea. at home. I have that written down and I have it drawn out. <sighs> Next, you're going to say that, that, that lazy eye was your idea. <laughs> and that one wasn't, no. That was your idea, I will say. 
A lot of the credit there does go to you. Or the name to both of your albums. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> or you, you don't even tell people it's my voice on your tracks. I tell... Ryan, what do you mean? You say, I sing all of those songs and you take credit. <laughs> no. Listen, man. Luke, cut this out. Cut, dude, hold on. Pause the podcast. I'm sorry, man. That I, I don't have any talent. And I, can't, I can't do shit on my own. But I told, I told you going into this. You lend me this. I'll make it work. And we could split the money 50-50, okay? If you start talking about this shit... The whole deal's off, okay? So why don't you have some fucking respect? <laughs> okay, man, I got the, we got the fucking giggles tonight, it's man. The, it's the fucking outfits, too. I know. <laughs> it's the grow-up. You have the I remember. I, You're in fucking tights. I remember. Ah! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at us don't wear tights. I remember uh, when I was like 11, uh, I was dressed up like a magician. <laughs> I just dressed up like a magician for fun one day at home. <laughs> with a top hat? Yeah. That's cute. You know, with a top hat and, like, the whole get up. And I was doing some, like, funny magic shit maybe for, like, an old video. And why? <laughs> God damn it, dude. Your fucking face. I don't know. I, what is that? Hello? Are there any <laughs> or specters in the house tonight? It's a line from the Haunted Mansion ride. <laughs> it is. <laughs> There any Every time I go on that ride, I'm like, I thought they would have changed that by now. I wonder, anyway, is I was, it, it, I was, on. sorry, I was dressed up as a magician, and I remember getting into a big fight with my parents over something else, like something menial, like grades or something, and and I was crying, and I was, I was yelling at my parents, and they were yelling back at me, and I just remember like thinking, like I marched up to my room, and I remember thinking like, ripping it off, like I could fucking shoot both of them. That's not what I was thinking. I was, I was thinking about how. <laughs> There's no way they could have taken me seriously because I was dressed up like a magician while I was like trying to yell at my parents and get in a fight with them. They yelled back. And, and you're 11? Something like that. <sighs> did, your, did your top hat just go poof and stay up in the air with steam? I was so mad. It, it shot up three feet, spun around, and then came back down. <laughs> but sorry, what were you saying about uh, the haunted mansion? Huh? No, there was a noise. I heard and it I made twice. a haunted mansion ride reference. Because whenever they stop the ride... That's right, whenever they stop it. Yeah, they say that... And it stops often because it's... I don't think I've ever been on that ride at Disneyland <laughs> once where it doesn't stop twice. I'm tired of Disneyland. I'm very tired of Disneyland, man. I haven't been to Disney World in a long time. I think that's what it is. Last time we were there was with uh, the Gaming Grumps. Yep. In 2017. Yes. That's when... Uh, December 2017, which means 18, 19, 20, 21... Five years ago next month. Dude, that's when fucking Brent accidentally invited both of his boyfriends. That was embarrassing. They both showed up to the senior frogs at Disney World. <laughs> I forgot about that. Dude, there is no senior frogs at Disney World. No, I forgot about that. Sorry. It wasn't senior frogs. It was that dinosaur restaurant. Yeah, I forgot what it's called, but I remember. <laughs> God, I forgot about that. That was so goddamn funny. Brent... It was like a Sweet Life as Zack and Cody episode. Or you know like when you invite one girl to prom and then and then the girl you originally asked ends up saying yes and now you're like, I'm taking two girls to prom. <laughs> Except for Brent. <laughs> it was still hey, like Jim. A, it was still like a prom. Jim's in the kitchen right now where he should be. <laughs> I have tears in my eyes, man. Because <laughs> The fire's very hot. You said you were gonna play your switch in the shower. You don't look wet. I lost. You don't look wet. You did not take a shower. Sorry, there's a liar among us. I want to hot with you guys. Among us? You're looking sus right now. No, I got the giggles. I'm sorry. No, but uh, <laughs> I just can't get over it. Brandon and fucking both of them. <laughs> I don't know why that fucking got me. Uh, oh, God. The meteor it? shower started and the second one showed up. Oh, my God. Uh, no, I just know him from work. What? I remember that scream. What do you mean you just know me from work? Uh, 
Um. Oh, he was in the doghouse that night. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just give, give me a second. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> God damn. Dude, I normally don't have the giggles this bad on a podcast. I don't know what it is. I what, did, what did Leighton put in this high noon? I don't know, dude, but it's making me giggle. Also, I am I'm not high, for those who are wondering. I'm I, the, the first... This is my first drink. I'm also not high. Like, I'm just... Well, I did have a, one drink before this, but... One, Jim. I had one drink. Did he have two... Jim held up two fingers. Oh, that's right. I did have two drinks before this. I'll throw up a little in my mouth. <laughs> Jim, I'm trying to make myself look good. No, it's fine. Um, Jim, this is my second drink. Would you like another drink? I still have to finish mine. <laughs> it's just it's been a while since we made fun of Brent. I, I think they just really got me. <laughs> it's you with the fucking Santa hat just <laughs> so earnestly saying <laughs> when he accidentally invited both of his boyfriends. <laughs> Can you imagine him doing that though? The r- little rascal? Oh, uh. <laughs> Oh, Brent. I miss Brent. What do you think Brent's up to right now? Brent? Should we give him a call? Yeah. It's been a while. Dude, my hands are so... You can probably see how sweaty my hands are on camera from this. Fire, it's the fire, it? dude. I'm, I'm smoking hot. We're going to give Brent a call right after this uh, next ad break. <gasps> You're playing a video game full blast, and you have, have a seat, Jim. Ryan, Ryan's having a little walk. I, uh, I have to chug the rest of this real quick. Right, dude, I'm fucking burning up. No, it's fine. It looks great on camera. Uh, I have to chug the rest of this real quick because uh, I thought Ryan was gaslighting me when he said John Favreau directed Iron Man. <laughs> did, he, did he really? Yeah. What? Exactly, right? No Jimmy way. Didn't know John Favreau directed the director of Chef and Iron Elf. Man okay, I don't pay attention to anything Marvel, okay? I don't either. It's history. But but it was like Chef. <laughs> he's, dude, it's he's history. done. He's done Chef, Elf, the uh, Jungle Book, Lion King. I'm like, no, he didn't do Iron Man. Ryan, Those are all your favorite women. movies. They are my favorite movies, you and like so I should have known this. He also Ryan told me that Will Ferrell and John Favreau would have screaming matches on set of Elf, and they didn't uh, get along. Will Ferrell tried to stage walkouts and stuff because because uh, Will Ferrell wanted it to be like a raunchy comedy, and it wasn't. No, no, no I don't know if that's the reason, but. Originally, Elf was going to be a raunchy comedy, and then John Favreau turned the script into more of a PG. He reeled it in. I will say it was a better idea to do that because now it's. Whoa! It's it's. It... My <laughs> <laughs> Did you shit that? Suit? A man in an oversized Santa <laughs> outfit. Did you just farts a bunch and then goes no poop in my pants? <laughs> <laughs> Did you? For real. You need to check that suit. We're going to return that no. after this. No, no, he doesn't need to check it. I know Ryan. I've known Ryan for coming up. It'll, it'll be almost a decade. And uh, I, I know his farts. I know when there's poop and when there's not. That was fine. You hear the poop come out of my butthole. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he has such a way with words. <laughs> Dude, that one sounded pretty bad. Your no, you're fine. I don't care. You were blocking his light. Wait, you should be sitting in my lap. You want to do a roll reverse? Uh, sure. Yeah. This one again. It's, this, it's always this trick, Ryan. Falling for it once again. Oh, you should sit in my lap, Ryan. Get it? Jim! No, don't fucking do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. Bro. What if I don't think you you don't look too comfortable to me? I feel like I can't get a fucking to think about. I feel like I can't get a fucking sentence out on this podcast (laughs) without fucking losing my shit. It sucks. That's how funny we are. We are the Funny Brothers, all right. Wait, what's the Christmas iteration of the Funny Brothers? The Fairy Brothers? No, the (laughs) (laughs) Fairy Brothers. Yeah, I know that. The Frosty Brothers. Ooh. Ooh. The Frost. Almost 
<laughs> the, Fro the Frosty Brothers? <laughs> How about that one? You guys thought of that one yet? So we're back? We're You've back, back, yeah. Right? We've been back, yeah. But uh, see you later, Jim. We're gonna call, we're gonna prank call Brent. Wait. Sure. And then cigarettes. What? Yeah, smoke a parliament. Are you smoking cigarettes, Jim? You can smoke a parliament in the hot tub. Shit. It's work. It is it's work. It's work, yeah. We can smoke a parliament in the hot tub. Hey, a parliament in the hot tub never hurt no nobody. A little cigarette never hurt nobody. Wait, can we use Jim's phone to prank call Brent? Yeah, we'll get it. Go get your phone. Promise? Yeah. Okay. What uh what should we how should we prank call Brent? We have a few minutes to think. Think, Ryan, think. He knows our I don't think he knows our voices that well. You were really good at putting on an official voice. An official voice? Brent <clears throat> Hello, Brent. <laughs> this is the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> this is Matt Watson's father. <laughs> Wait, that's good. <laughs> no, he'll know it's fake. Sh we'll should should we just say hey until he recognizes who it is? No, hey. no, no. I'll be a girl. And I'll go hey. <laughs> you know who it is, Brent. <laughs> Ooh, you're about to prank call Brent. Yeah, we're prank calling Brent. It's a, it's about time that bastard got prank called. It's been too damn long. Too damn high. Remember right. that one? The rent? <laughs> it's too damn high. <laughs> that got you. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. That's how it got you. Who's my damn big Brian? Daddy needs nicotine before. Before he fucking calls Br Ah. Well, you gotta hand it back, baby. Gotta bleach my roots soon. No, I like it like this. Fuck the haters. I was thinking about getting uh, some liposuction. No, Jim, you already have Brent's tattoos. number in your phone. Oh, yeah. Huh? I'll call his Jim. <laughs> oh, fuck. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Ask if Brent ever thought about going on tour. The Brent show. The Brent Lily show. He knows it's you. I forgot you guys knew each other. So why would he pick up? He must think I'm really desperate. <laughs> <laughs> you just got fired. He's probably... I can't hire Jim. <laughs> you, know what I, you know what I kind of don't like? They made the uh, Please leave your message code for people sound like children. They did. Hey, Brent. It's Jim. I'm sorry. I just got a uh, Lego from Super Mega, and I was wondering if um if you guys had any openings. I'm sorry. It's been a, it's been a tough day, so I was wondering if you guys had any openings at Game Grumps, um, a real good touring. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, just give me a call back when you get this. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> when I got the giggles, I can't prank call as good, man. You got Coochie as your wallpaper. Yeah, he's this, got pictures of Coochie dude. as his wallpaper. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Jim. Nice catch, Jim. That was good aim, though. Weren't you quarterback in high school? Yeah. Well. Did you play football? Are you, wait. Here's the better question. Are you quarterback now? No. Exactly. He ain't no quarterback, boy. Why aren't you, why aren't you quarterback of a high school football team, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> That's Prince John. <laughs> imagine, imagine Jim just, like, auditioning know, for QB. There will be something on his back. I love that you said auditioning. They're not just going to let you in. You got to audition to be quarterback. <laughs> you do. You got to audition. They don't just give you it to you, you Jim. You got to fucking. the football tryouts. <laughs> that sounds like a Or whatever the. That, you got to audition for the football tryouts. <laughs> to even try out. You got to audition for the tryouts. Were you varsity? Yeah. <laughs> proof. Yeah, Show me proof. You're not varsity. You never played football. Yo. That's a spiral. That's a spiral. 
Jim, just Jim, come here. Yeah, you have to yeah, get on your knees. Jim, and, sit down and show, and show people that. Jim, right here. Get on your goddamn knees, Jim. Don't say it like that. Jim, Jim, sit right here. Jim, I said get on your goddamn knees. That's a glass table, Jim. Be careful. That's not ours. Come on, Jim. Oh God. You're a klutzy little one. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're slippery, aren't you? You're a slippery little guy, aren't you? Ah. <laughs> Oh, my toesy woesies. Watch out! Don't don't spill no drinks. All right, show us that spiral. Watch it. We're gonna see Jim spiral. Yeah. Yo. You see it all the way over there? Yeah, over the mountains. Over the. I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> but I could throw a football over the mountains. <laughs> Jim, that actually, I'm not gonna lie. Like that was a like. I don't play football, but I will say that yeah, looked like it would have been a good. That looked like it would have been a good throw, and I'm gonna let that one slide. But that looked like it would have been a good throw, did it not? Letting him slide as in like interrupting you? No, he said. Oh. I said I don't play football, and he said, "Yeah, we know that." Okay. Yeah. He's small. So you're gonna let him interrupt? Small him guys play football, and I'm not small, Jim. I'm. Matt, I'm. You're gonna let Jim interrupting you slide? You're gonna punish me? It's Christmas. It's actually November thirtieth. So I thought it was. Dis oh, it, oh, okay. That was December 1st. Nope. It's November 30th. Please, God, please, please, please. It is December on the East Coast right now. Okay. Oh. So you you got lucky by less that than one hour. for me. Yeah. I don't know. I'm getting already hot from this fireplace and these drinks. Why would I need to go in a hot tub? Come on, Ryan. Ryan. I swear to fucking Christ, man, if you pull you guys this are just shit. You're gonna be making fun of me the whole time. No, I swear if no, you pull no. this shit where it's like, oh, I'm actually, you're I'm gonna go to bed. Laugh. I'm not gonna you're get gonna in the hot tub. I'm titties and go, ha ha. He has big boobs or was, something like that. I something was. witty that I can't think of. Did you tell him? <laughs> I can't give a straight fucking face, man. It's the elf costume. I, when I'm in the elf costume, I'm too jolly. Dude, you you look jolly. amazing in that costume. It Thank you. Like fits you really it well. does. Thank it's you. A really, I think we should keep these costumes. I don't think we should return them. Okay. Because I think we could reuse the Santa outfit. Well, Leighton used his own credit card for these, right? Did he? No harm on, on our part. No, honestly. If we don't return it. He said we have like two weeks until... Wait, he to... used his own card? They yeah. don't accept Am Amex I'm guessing at the place? No. Nah. That sucks. <gasps> he had to use his own card, so... I mean, if we don't return them, it's on him. The exact opposite of the problems we used to have. Exactly. But, um, what problems? <clears throat> Jim, we've reprimanded you before. We even made you change your name, so... Let's... <laughs> let's... <laughs> uh, <laughs> between that and the surgery... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you want a cookie, Jim? Yeah, I would love a cookie. You want some milk with it? Yeah, please. Which one you want, buddy? Uh, that one. Point them out. This one? Chocolate, yeah. Um, for all the uh, audio listeners that might be upset uh, for the inability to watch Jim as he take a bite of a uh, milk dunked Soaking. cookie. Soaking it. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, uh, we formally apologize, but... Uh, mm. I feel like, oh, well. at the same time, there is like a get bent mentality. Uh, One hundred percent, um, because it's Christmas and Jim deserves a, a milk dunk cookie uh, on Christmas. If I had Christmas. two words to say to the audio listeners, you got some uh, under your under your lip. You got some chocolate. There you go. If I had two words to say to the audio listeners, it's get bent. Good, thanks. Yeah, Ryan couldn't find his vape earlier and <laughs> threw a tantrum. I don't know where it went. I don't. I, I don't, don't either. Know where dude. it went? Where could it have gone? Shit! <laughs> Which one are you talking? I actually have a picture on my phone of Ryan mid freak out trying to find his vape in the, the same outfit. There, Luke. Yeah, here's Ryan on the couch <laughs> yelling at everyone. Where's his again, vape? So again for the audio listeners. Get in. Yes, yes, formally. Yes. You know what's funny? Was Ryan, um, the other day I was cleaning my house and, uh, that's nice. I was, I put on some super mega, uh, put just on truck sim, huh? I, yeah, I put on truck sim cause I was like, how, how, how are we these days? Are we, are we as funny as they say we are? Funnier, <sighs> funnier. Every joke I made, I laughed at. And basically, uh, I had it on and I was cleaning and I was thinking, I see people say, oh, well, I don't like that it's video podcast now because... I feel like I have to watch it. 
Otherwise I'm missing out. And for the first time in my life, I got it. I understood because I was like, if I'm not watching, I feel like, I feel like I have to watch it. Otherwise I'm, I'm just missing out. Yeah. And I get it. Um, but ultimately what I would say is get bent. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. We're on the, we're the, the exact video. same page. Just watch the video. <clears throat> Why wouldn't you watch the video? Or you could just put the video in the background, not watch it, and just listen I mean, to us be funny. To it's fine. It's like we don't do too much that's visual that, that's going to impair your uh You you say as we're sitting <laughs> on a <laughs> as we're sitting in a full Christmas set in front of a fucking <laughs> log cabin backdrop with a fireplace and costumes. <laughs> it's not it's not entirely <laughs> we don't do too much that's visual. <laughs> well, I feel like necessarily visual. Like it's not like this isn't a necessity. This is an added like benefit of the video podcast. He's just been These, crying because we're like, I can't get over the elf costume. But I, yeah, but <laughs> since we mention it, it's fine. Like audio listeners, the, like people on the radio had to listen to people describe sports events. I think to that in, to that extent, it's fine. That's a great fucking point. If people can listen to the radio at sports events, then audio, uh, audio listeners could suck it up and get bent. I yeah, as long as we explain what we're doing and why we're laughing, like wh- what. That we are wearing Which costumes. Which we do. We do. That we are next to a fireplace. Yeah. We make a point to explain what's going on. Try so to. like like if we're laughing about something, you know, it's like, oh, we're laughing. It's like, oh, sorry, Ryan is just dressed up as Santa right now. That's why I'm laughing. You like this? This is Christmas green. Yeah, it's Christmas green. Do you like that? You know what my oh it's Christmas green, alright. Yeah, you like this? That is like that? I don't know. I think it was it does smell good. Yeah. What deodorant do you use? When I uh your girlfriend uses. Back when I was a little don't lad. Oh shit. It's I'm not putting my foot on swagger. that. Swagger. It's old spy swagger is what mm-hmm. she uses. Back when I was a little lad, my favorite thing was waking up in the morning, enjoying a nice bowl of, of Captain Crunch or or sorry, cinnamon toast crunch, having my back warmed by the fireplace. Oh yeah. Ugh. My parents My mom would massage me. Jim, my <laughs> stepdad, not you. <laughs> what? Every family's different, man. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're you got your fucking bent neck looking at homework all night. What? It's a bit tense. Middle schoolers gotta you know go and have a hard work day. Gotta learn some new things. Gotta learn about life. Gotta learn equations. It's <laughs> <laughs> the outfit, man. When you're saying this shit, the full Santa outfit. I can't fucking do. It. Also, just your face by default, like it. <laughs> no, come on, man. Give this to my me, man. face by funny. default. He said, "Funny face." I think people, some people say they like my face. My mom being one of them, I by like the way. your face. So, Jim, stepdad. Jim called me a pussy boy, so I, I don't know if he... He'd dunk you under the pool and call you pussy boy. Yeah, he would. I wouldn't do that. Well, would let's, you not? let's be real, Ryan. Were you being a pussy boy? <laughs> I was running out of air and was kind of gasping for breath and choking on water, so yeah. I was being a little yeah. bit of a yeah. pussy. That's kind of the definition That's of a pussy boy. That yeah. That's on you. I was, honestly, if a grown man, and there are many who saw me at the pool who, one, weren't attracted to me, they'd just be laughing at me. Mm-hmm. We won't do that in the hot tub. How about that? What if we promise? Should we film our hot tub session for Patreon? Yeah. You don't have any... Did you bring a swimsuit? No. No, then all the patrons are going to point and laugh at me. They're not. Because... The, did you bring a swimsuit? The whole video, Ryan's going to be up to here in the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to start. He's already in the hot tub. Matt, like that's, that's, that's what big boys do. That's what big boys do with their big self-consciousness. Boys wear a big shirt. I used to, I used to like uh, Did you wear, wear those a shirt wa- in the pool. Uh, when I was younger, I would wear. When I started to get a little bit chubbier, I wore like water shirts and stuff. Water yeah, shirts. Just you didn't want to get sunburned. Sure. You didn't want to get chafed by the water. I didn't. I, I just knew that I had a tummy, and I looked at other kids my age, and I'm like, they they look athletic and slim. So this and I goes look a bit wait, wait, pudgy wait. like a pear. Ryan, this goes far back then. <clears throat> yeah, I've been self conscious about. You're turning 29 next year. Isn't it time to let it go? And embrace uh, if I took care of my are. body, I might be able no, to. No, 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 Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. But I, I take but I, care of your body. Ryan, you are taking care. And you know what I think, Ryan? I've gained like 15 to 20 pounds. Ryan. It's because you've been working out. Muscles. Of muscle. Yeah. Ryan, I, I personally think that you'll be 29 next year. Oh, it's I'm time to. Essentially 30 at that point. It's time to love yourself for who you are. Grief. All right, Charlie Brown. It's time to love yourself for love who you are. Love that Because guess what? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, stop making me laugh, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. I lo- it's time I love to love yourself you for who you are. You're a funny, handsome. You're the heartthrob of Super Mega. You're a funny, handsome dude. Mm-hmm. It's time I, to embrace that. But I could be someone whose shirts didn't cling to his titties. Get a bigger shirt. I don't know what to say. Hey, 
Amen. Hey, Ryan, I could, I could be someone that doesn't have concave pecs. I you don't can, have a concave chest at all. There was someone that I remember when I was a kid, we all made fun of him. We didn't hear much of him years later. I don't know what happened to him, but uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You just uh, disappeared. <laughs> just, well, we never got But I, I guess people just stopped inviting him yeah, to stuff, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but, but continue. No, but there was like a, a kid in like a, what is it, Venture Scouts or whatever. And I remember... It was the first instance that I saw it where his chest actually was like concave, like where there was like a dent or a divot. Yeah. But guess what? He charmed the hell out of all them bitches in Venture Scouts. And his name was Matt Watson. No, it, it wasn't. Because you, you don't have a concave fucking chest. I did. I don't know. Th there's a, did you do the thing where you could put cereal in it and you would eat it out? No. Nah, what was this, man? It was a different type of gutter, but it was like uh, I would. Uh, I, did, I did used to have. I did used to have like a very uh, concave, like like it actually went in. Mm. I don't have pecs still, but it, but at least I've kind of broken even. Because now what I have is I is I have the approaching late twenties. Uh, Chuck. Hey, Layton. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. Somebody's putting on. Do you a see show. his balls, Layton? You want to come take a seat? Right Do you see his balls? Okay, hold on. I don't think it's appropriate for the podcast. Oh, well, well, you want to you want to wrap, wrap yourself in a towel? That is a three hander. Yeah. That is a three-hander. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. He's not lying. Or, or, or before he came around the corner, he stood there for three minutes going. Chuffing his shit. You're chuffing it, dude. He said, lie detector test, I'm completely soft right now. But he looked over and he saw three beautiful men sitting down, so who knows? That's true. Leighton, you know what we're going to do to prove that later? We're going to pants you at a random time. It's a, it's a damn shame no woman. Well, he showed us his penis. That. that is a three-hander. Yeah. Did, did he show you the penis? He, yeah, he. Leighton, that's the first time I've seen your penis. No, it's not. You filmed yeah. my penis whenever we did the drunk. The, don't, uh, don't. Not, I mean. Yeah, but you were drunk Layton. and sleeping, so that doesn't drunk. even count. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was Ned Flanders. Come here. Hold on. It's really warm. I got standards. Oh, Diamond Ned Flanders. Pretty good. Uh, made in Tokyo and ASAP Vert. Ooh, oh, watch, watch, uh, watch the upskirt. Oh, oh. oh yeah. You gotta, you gotta sit like a. Like Layton a just got out of the queen. sauna. Uh, the Jim sauna. booked us a nice Air and B. Dude, that was nice. I just laid there. I watched a little bit of a little, little podcast. Watched what podcast? H three. Okay. Mm. Not a. Watch the moist. Not the not the Funny Brothers cast. No, mm. I'm caught up. Mm. Hmm. You're not caught. I mean, you could have watched yeah, it live. You could you could have stood up on the balcony. That's right. I, I see you watching H three podcast at at work. Yeah. Every day at work, actually. It's not every day at work, no. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, I've been getting caught up. I'm actually watching the Thanksgiving episode. That's how behind I am right now. That's embarrassing. I watch about 30 minutes at a time. How behind are you on the Super Mega Cast? Mm. I just watched uh, the Funny Brothers one. What happened? Out. Are you saying that because you were in it? In? Is that is that why you're you're saying you oh, watched it? That is it? why I put it on. Yeah. All right. What, what, all right. What about the episode before it? What episode was it? What happened? For the Funny Brothers? Mm -hmm. I, don't know. I can't even remember that. I don't know that. I don't, I don't remember what happened. I don't remember what we I talked could tell about you. at the time. I could tell you what it was. Was it funny? Or was it? He could. He doesn't want to. Yeah. I don't want to. It's, it's, yeah. it's no, I choose not yeah. to. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's a Luke lesson. We should snapping. remember. Luke's napping. He's snoring upstairs. He was snoring upstairs. That's where I came down. Is that is what he, woke you up? Is he still <laughs> snoring? <laughs> I was trying to play video games. He was snoring too loud. I was trying to nap earlier, and Ryan was napping, and he was snoring through the walls. It's like he's revving a chainsaw over there. I thought I thought that Dude, Santa Sean Claus logs. had snuck down the chimney and fallen asleep. That's, mother That's what I think. I think it's a combination of gained weight and like also the you surgery. You haven't Some, gained weight. Dude, shut yes, up. I, no. This Ryan, is no. this guys no. guys guys. Legit. This is not. This is not like a boohoo. This is a legitimately factually based steps on a scale. I've gained some weight. And it's okay to gain you some weight. You don't look like you've it's gained weight. It's also okay to lose some weight, which I should be doing. But you look so strong. Thanks, man. You look great. My. Ryan, go back to my two lovely uncles. Look at that. Yeah. Look well, at you now. Are you saying he... What, what are you saying? I've been two lovely uncles. That's probably the biggest I've ever been. Ryan was heftier at one point. I was, I was not there anymore. I did not... Even then, I didn't realize how big I was. It's and now looking like back, it's I was like... But, but even so, even so, you were still fine back then. Thanks, man. You're fine now. You're, you're I mean, more than fine now. 
To quote Ooh. Switchfoot, more than fine. Well, look at all of, are you looking at my feet, Shannon? Dunk. No. You got a hole in your sock. I yeah, I know. I have several I holes in my socks. He has socks. three holes in one sock. What's wrong with having holes in socks? It almost looks like you wrote Hanes on the bottom. It's almost of that. like he doesn't. Does it? it looks like you wrote with it. Yeah, it looks like you wrote with a Sharpie Hanes. Like you, like you took them off a sleeping man on the I did the not write Hanes on my socks. I wrote Hanes on the bottom. I did not have to do that. Bye everyone. For Christmas. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for another great snowy mega cast. Um, yeah. For Christmas, would you like some socks? You can watch the extended uh, special show. It's not even an extended version. It's its own separate show that we record after this podcast called After Hours. That you can this go watch. This isn't After Hours. No. no. This is the regular. This we is... made it to the real main show. Yeah. You guys we made, made it. it. We saw your ball sack on it. No, I saw. No. We saw his penis and oh, ball sack. You guys saw we my, my see big penis. old penis. I'll say, I'll it say, was a big penis. I'll say, thank you. Thank you. It's the yeah, one. thank. Good job. Thank it, you. it was a very well. Big, you can't credit him. You can credit credit his parents. Credit my parents. Credit those jeans. It's the only good thing I got going on. I'm not wearing any. See you, everyone. Daddy, baby. <laughs> 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 Matt and Ryan, that was not funny, but I love Super Mega. <laughs>